Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to create a video ad using custom particles and an ad image. So what I'm going to do is go to search stock images and I'm going to look for stars and you could basically find, you know, any image you like uh, as a background. So I'm just going to go through and have a look over here. So I quite like this one. So I'm going to grab this one here and import it into Photo Vibrance. Okay, cool. So I'm going to use the 3D Parallax editor and go square and I'm going to kind of place it around the stars like so and go next and I'm not going to go through and do any of this stuff I'm just going to straight into the editor like so and what I want to do is begin creating an ad image so I'm going to go to image I'm going to go grab a product shot of create studio this one here I'm just going to resize this down slightly like this and then what I want to do is add some text I'm going to type in make better videos faster something like that and I'll just resize this down and place it above like so and I might go grab yeah let's make it semi old like this looks good cool so what I also want to do is go grab my image and I'm gonna go grab a logo so CS logo just resize this down like this as well and I'm also going to go through and add another image. I'm just going to go grab uh, this one over here, this paint underline, and just put it in like this and reposition it so that it's, um, you know, below the actual text. And I might go with this text, I'm going to go make it maybe darker color like this. Okay, cool. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, what I also want to do is go through and add some custom particles. So let's go to particles, turn on, and you'll be able to see underneath these particle images, we've got this option to add a custom image as your particle. So I'm going to go to upload, and I'm going to go grab my logo. So see this logo like this, and you'll be able to see now we've got our logo as our custom particles. And I want to bump up the size and bring down the quantity. So it could be something like Maybe let's, try, let's go with 40 actually for now. Maybe I'll make it a bit less. Um, and one other thing I want to do is go to effects and I'm going to go to effects over here. And I'm going to go grab something like, uh, let's have a look, this explosion one. So I'm going to just place this over here and I'm going to place it behind the box shot image. So I'm just going to go grab it and place it behind like so. Just to add a bit of more movement and, and design style to this um, add image. So what I want to do now is kind of position things around how I want it. Uh, I've got my text over here and I want it to be obviously um, in line with this background here. And I've got my logo can be a bit further back and the box shot can be, maybe even the box shot could be a bit closer actually. Let's bring this up like this and let's, let's just see what that looks like. But I'm going to go to camera and I've got my camera positioned at zero seconds and in this position like so. So I'm going to double click on the timeline at 5 seconds to add a keyframe. Now I want to position the camera um, zoomed in, okay, a bit closer. So I've got my keyframe selected, I'm just going to use the plus icon like so. And I can zoom in to my box shot, maybe to this bit closer, something like this. And I might just bring down the size of the particle slightly. Actually I might bring the quantity down, let's bring it to about, yeah 30 looks good, okay cool. So that's looking really cool. And I'm just going to play this through. And you see now we've got a really nice looking video ad that we could use you know, in our marketing. I could also rotate it slightly maybe as well. Bring it up like this. Sometimes you need to play around with the particles to see what looks good on your actual um, shot. And with this one selected, I'm just going to double click again to create the same keyframe with the same position. And I'm just going to drag it to 10 seconds so that it goes from here. It zooms in and then it zooms back to the same position so this will enable the video to continually loop um, on the timeline on Facebook or Instagram so let's just um, yeah could we make this a little bit bigger maybe actually like that this could also be a little bit bigger okay cool so let's just preview that And that's looking really good from just a you know simple image that we could use as an image ad we could quickly convert it into a video ad 
um, inside of Photovibrant. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, one thing to know as well, like with your particles, you can also remove the blur. So if you want your logo to be completely as it was when you imported it, you can do that or you can bump up the blur as well if you don't want it to be so visible. So yeah, let's just preview that without the blur. And that's looking really, really cool. So I hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to try it out yourself. And as always, have fun creating. Thank you.